Awesome. Looks like we're live. Welcome back to 30 Minutes with a Millionaire. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you smash that, smash that subscribe button next to it. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every single week when we drop brand new videos. And we try to do this every single Friday um, when things aren't going on in my life where we can come here, spend time together, offer as much value to you guys as humanly possible, answer all of your questions. And if you're watching this as a replay, every single one's different and they're jam packed with jewels. So maybe fast forward a minute or two when the questions start rolling in and make sure you have a pen or a pencil, something to take notes with because note takers are money makers. By the way, guys, the only dumb question is a question that's not asked. So the way that you guys can get the most value um, is through asking very specific detail oriented questions. So Let's go ahead and open up the um, let's go ahead and open up the chat. Go ahead and drop your questions down be below about business, about starting your personal brand, your physical brand, um, about Amazon in general. Let's see how we can help you get to the next level. Um, the number one goal for me is to help you guys increase your income, your impact, and your influence. And one of the most valuable things for me, whenever I'm at a mastermind, is literally chatting with people and getting to ask them questions. Not even the lectures and the, the teaching and the programs, but the questions, right? Questions inside of the community, questions when there's Q&A and so on and so forth. Awesome. By the way, if you guys can hear and see me all right, go ahead and smash that like button so our team can know that you guys can hear us and see us. Awesome. Um, does Amazon automatically send out an email for a review when my product gets bought? Um, Abe, so good question, man. There, so there's two different ways to set up the automation. Um, Amazon sends the user automations based on the delivery of their product. So when the product is being packaged and shipped, when the product is en route to their house, when the product is delivered, they don't really entice the buyer or enforce to the buyer to leave you a review, which sucks. I wish they did. Um, however, there's a few different ways that you can go about that. Um, there's a few different softwares, Jungle Scout being one of them. Inside of the, uh, the Jungle Scout software, um, they set up an automation where they can go through Amazon's um, API and trigger automations where you can ask for reviews. Now, when it comes to reviews with Amazon, it's kind of tricky. You can't incentivize for them. You can't exchange free product for reviews, not like back in the day. However, you can remind them about reviews and the importance of reviews and so on and so forth. We've seen 10 to 20% on average success rate from these automations. Again, you can set these up for many different softwares. The one we use is Jungle Scout. We'll drop a link down below. It's discountonjunglescout.com if you want to go ahead and uh, get access to that. I believe you'll save like maybe 15 to 30%. Um, now, you can manually go into Amazon under your account management inside of Seller Central, and you can manually send these messages as well. However, it's significantly easier um, and not only easier, but it helps hold you accountable so you really don't forget to do it, to just have that automation and that API set up where they just send it on your behalf. Because if you start getting a lot of orders every single day, every single week, every single month, sometimes you miss it or you don't have time to do it. And, you know, it's really important to be consistent with your reviews. Um, a few other things that help is number one, of course, just a good customer experience. Um, which is self-explanatory, but people still don't focus on it the way they need to be, um, the way it needs to be done. And then second of all is talking about reviews and the importance of reviews inside of the packaging or inside of some type of package stuffer. Great question, Abe. By the way, talking about uh, package stuffers, inside the AMZ formula, I actually give you a template, which is my package stuffer. It's not the like exact with my product and stuff, but we literally took the package stuffers I use in my products and put like dummy words and stuff on it. But you have that whole design template where you can print that PDF off or give that PDF to a graphic artist or to your supplier, and they can literally just make it for you. So you don't have to pay to have one developed. You don't have to ask yourself like, hey, what do I put on here? What should I put on there? Because I've already done that for you. So everybody in any of our programs, you'll have access to that underneath the resources section. Can you ask the supplier to change or update the product that you're selling? Um, yeah, absolutely. So I don't know, like, it, like if you're switching directions with the product that you're selling or you want to add a product to it or differentiate or change it. But yeah, absolutely. Your supplier can do more than just manufacture and make that one product. They can help you source additional products. 
They can source products that get shipped to them that they can bundle. Um, you can say, you know what, I don't want to sell this product anymore, but you have this other product that I want to sell. There's tons of different ways that you can go that way. And it's a good thing that you brought up that point because one of the biggest issues that I see, not even issues, one of the biggest mistakes I see sellers make when it comes to suppliers and manufacturers is not building a solid relationship with their supplier or their manufacturer and not exhausting that relationship. A lot of people just think of them as the person that just makes their, pro their product and that's it or supplies them of their product and that's it when really they can be the introduction to other companies like sourcing agents or fulfillment centers or 3PLs or graphic artists or freight forwarders and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. So there's a saying, if you don't ask, um, like if you don't ask, they won't tell you. So always try to be asking your suppliers and stuff, what can they do for you? How can they help you? So on and so forth. Uh, cool, guys. And remember, the only dumb question is one that doesn't get asked. Um, I don't come on here to sell anything. I come on here to help the community answer your guys' questions, serve you guys. So you guys have any type of questions about getting started, about the business or anything, let us know how we can serve you. Let us know what your questions are down below. By the way, if this is your first time to the channel, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell next to it. Helps the channel out big time. And it also lets like YouTube will notify you and say, Hey, we just dropped a new video. Every single week we drop new videos and we try to do lives. Um, I missed that one question. Um, are, um, are featured offers the same as the buy box? Um, so the buy box is when you have a product that the brand allows multiple different sellers. And it's basically which one is the best offer for the prime buyer or the client, right? So which one's prime eligible with the lowest price and the highest reviews, so on and so forth. For instance, if you went to buy a 12 pack of Fiji water, maybe me, you, and someone else are all distributors under the manufacturer or the brand Fiji water. If we all have, um, if we all have the same price, but I'm prime with better reviews, I may get the buy box. Or if you're at $20 and somebody else is at $19.95 and I'm at $18.99, I may get the buy box. So that's kind of how that works. So um, in reference to featured offers, that's a little bit different. So sometimes there's featured offers, there's deals, um, there's recommendations, so on and so forth. These are just different areas of real estate within Amazon and promotions that you can do and advertising that you can do to get in front of more people visibly. What's the typical response time for support? Um, I don't know if you're talking about Amazon or us, but I mean, Amazon, it's typically within a day. And if you message us, if you're talking about us, Monday through Friday, nine to five, it's typically within a few hours. Where can I find manufacturer suppliers in the US? So the easiest way to find suppliers in the US or manufacturers in the US is to just simply Google them. So think about what is it that you want made, manufactured, developed, so on and so forth. And just type in manufacturers, type in suppliers, wholesalers, um, so on and so forth. And usually you can find them. Sometimes you can find directories online on Google for the US. Also on Alibaba, you can actually, um, you can actually um, navigate via different countries. So on Alibaba, you can go type the product in and down below, you can actually choose the country. So U.S. is actually on there as well. So that's a few different ways that you can um, you can find suppliers in different countries or in the U.S. Thoughts on thoughts on a product that, on average, ten sales, sometimes less, but competitor for same product has a hundred to one hundred fifty plus daily sales. Um, difference is front has premium print versus plain. It's better branded. That's all thoughts. So, um, if the average amount of sales per day is 10, but someone's getting a hundred to 150, I mean, let's go to the whiteboard and I can kind of draw some scenarios. I think 10 units a day is like the bare minimum that I look for, right? So when I'm looking at a product or when I'm looking at a niche that I want to get into and a product that's underneath that category, is it showing? Um, what I'm looking for is the bare minimum of 10 units um, per day, right? So 
if you're selling 10 units per day, 10 units per day, and let's say the average profit, right? Average profit per unit, you know what? So you guys don't get confused here. Per unit is um, $10, okay? If it's $10, that's $100 per day. It's $100 a day times an average of 30 days per month. That's $3,000 per month. So $3,000 per month at this 10 units per day, $10 average profit is very, very good. Now, you say that the main person is selling 100 to 150. So if they're selling 100 to 150 units, and we'll just put um, the best, right? The best. And the average... The average is selling um, 10 units per day. What we need to solve for is on a scale, like why are they doing this? So there's a few different ways that um, can differentiate why they, they're selling more, right? So why are they selling more? Um, it can be a large brand. Now, the reason why they would sell more if they're a large brand is because maybe they have more marketing Maybe they have what's called depth of market. For instance, if you wanted to go buy toothpaste, I guarantee you when I say toothpaste, immediately Colgate comes to your mind. I guarantee you when I say tissue paper or pass me A, you think of Kleenex because they have brand dominance, right? They have brand reputation. I guarantee you when I think when I say gym or commercial gym, you think of Gold's Gym or you think about Planet Fitness, right? So you have these large brands that have depth of market and they have um, brand reputation, right? And uh, brand um, really notoriety when it comes to it. So that's one of the reasons is brand, large brand, large marketing budget, marketing budget is another reason, right? They could be spending more. So if you look at it and this is kind of what I do when I'm trying to figure this out. So if you guys want to copy this, what I do is I write on one side, what I think my prediction is. So if the least amount of person is selling five units and the other person is um, like the max person selling a hundred units. And let's just say we say the medium is 40 to 50. What is the difference? Right. And I try to solve for that. So I'll draw this on this scale and then I'll try to find these things out and I'll draw this actual scale and I'll go through these different variables. So large marketing budget could be another variable, right? Um, organic rank could be another one. What is organic rank? When you type in yoga mat on Amazon, number one who pops up is number one organically ranked for yoga mat. That person is going to sell more than someone who's on the third page. It just makes sense, right? So you can make these charts, these graphs, and you can put the best person where they are on that scale and the person that you're running the comps off of or where you feel that you're going to be. And that will pretty much tell you what numbers you have to adjust or change in order to get to that level of rank or that level of sales, right? Because we don't want to guess anything. We want to make data-driven decisions to figure out exactly where we are and where we need to be. So organic rank um, is another one. Um, a smaller one, but this is also um, one that um, can definitely lead to significantly more sales is quality or um, function. So there's a differentiating factor. There's a function. There's a quality. Another one is review count. This person could have 5,000 reviews. Everybody else could have two to 300. Psychologically, a client or a customer or someone who wants to go buy a product, when they see 5,000 reviews, they're thinking, wow, this must be the best one. They have the most reviews. They don't understand the business and they could have just been the first to market. Oftentimes, the one with the most reviews is the first to market, not always the best product. But consumers don't understand that on Amazon. So review, um, review ratio is very, very important. But review quantity, how many reviews they have is also important as well. Um, and those are some of the big ones. So I would literally identify what is the differentiating factors and you know what can I do over here in order to increase this 10 average sales per day. But starting out with a product that sells 10 units per day, if you can average $10 profit per unit, you're at $3,000 a month. I mean, if you cut this in half, 
you're still at $1,500 profit per month, right? $1,500 profit per month, um, which is still solid for a product, right? Depending on what the product is, how much the product costs to source, so on and so forth. So when I'm looking at developing a product and I'm looking at the margins, number one, it has to make sense. You have to make money. But number two, I'm looking down here. Okay, how can I compete with large brands? Um, how can I compete with large marketing budgets, right? Maybe someone's spending X amount of money on Amazon and the cost per click or CPC is $3 a click. Well, I can't afford to outrank them by spend in PPC. However, you have to understand that the way placement works on Amazon is not by where the clicks and the conversions come from, but the clicks and the conversions. So if one big brand is selling this large familiar brand and they're spending all the money on Amazon and you can't compete with them, maybe they're not spending any money on TikTok and TikTok is 20 cents a click versus $3 a click or a dollar a purchase versus $8 a purchase. Now you can go out, spend them on a different platform and get more views and you can rank just with them or even outrank them and it can move yourself from the 10 aspect, which is right here, maybe to 70. And now you just 7X your amount of sales. So that's kind of how I look at it when it comes to ranking, when it comes to growing, when it comes to building things out. You know, how can I improve my ranking to get more sales? How can I improve my reviews? How can I do a review campaign? These are some things that you guys want to look at. By the way, for these notes, everybody who's a part of the 30 Minutes with a Millionaire here on the channel, I actually save these as a PDF and give you guys all these notes. So if you guys want my notes, I give them to you absolutely free. There'll be a link down below. You fill out the information, put your email in there, and I email you access to this like course, free course, where it literally just has PDFs of all my notes for all of these videos that we do. So that's my gift to you guys for being subscribed, supporting the channel, liking, commenting, and just helping us grow as a community. Um, so yeah, by the way, for those of you that are like, how do I get those notes and trying to screenshot stuff, I actually will give them to you. Um, where do I get products wholesale? So I, I don't do wholesale or really teach wholesale like as a business model through Amazon, but essentially when you're developing a product or you're buying a product that's your private labeling or branding, which is what I pretty much teach, um, you're going to get it directly from a supplier, right? However, if you wanted to buy products wholesale, you would just get it from the manufacturer or from a distributor and they follow a very simple structure that's called an MAP and MSRP structure. So MAP or MAP is a minimum advertised pricing structure. And that's the way that distributors or manufacturers can sell to other people who resell products and make profit without undercutting each other. For instance, if you go and get an LG television from Walmart, it's the same price as Best Buy and Sears. How can they all three sell the same product at the same price and make money? That's because they buy it directly from the supplier or the distributor or the manufacturer at X amount of dollars or X amount of percent below what MSRP is, which is manufactured suggested retail pricing. So the MSRP is what the customer or the client buys the product at. The business owner um, or the establishment buys it at below MSRP, right? And then they follow that MAP structure. That's pretty much how the wholesale business works. How long before your clients usually quit their jobs after successfully selling on Amazon? Um, it's, it's different. So like everybody has different results. Like everybody starts at different times. Everybody devotes different levels of time and effort and resources and money to their businesses. So there's not like this average, like magical, like period of time where people can quit their jobs or make X amount of money. I can tell you this, like the process is proven. The business is proven. And if you put the work in, it will work out, right? And the only way that you can fail with this business or any business is by not starting or by giving up. Like I can tell you, we have, we've had people like Joey, one of our clients who is now one of our coaches in the AMZ Formula Max. Um, he literally was able to quit his job and generate his first million dollars in less than two years. We have clients that's generated 10,000 a month in three months. Some took six months. But the most important thing that I want you to understand is that it's all about starting and not giving up, right? That's like the whole key to this business and any business, right?
What are your thoughts on digital products? Um, digital products are good. Digital products don't have fulfillment. Digital products are easier to create. Digital products, you know, they don't have inventory restrictions and inventory limits. They can be quickly sent and received, consumed. So digital is good. That's why art, digital art now, NFTs is going crazy versus traditional art. To avoid rejection by brand registry, I hear that we have to create a dummy listing and attempt to apply for brand registry. Is that true? Uh, to avoid rejection by brand registry. Uh, no, I'm not familiar with that. So brand registry, in order to apply for brand registry, you just have to have a trademark and you have to have a, an actual brand registered within Amazon. You fill out the application. Sometimes there's a fee. Um, you have an SPTO um, verified trademark. Usually they approve it every single time. So I haven't heard of any issues like that or about creating um, dummy accounts or anything like that. But if for some reason they were to reject you, they would tell you exactly what it is. And it's not like they're like, I don't like your brand or your logo or the name, or you can't sell on Amazon. Usually if they restrict you or they reject you, it's because of a legitimate reason, right? So if you create the account the right way, all your information's up to date, you get your trademark, apply for your trademark. You can, um, get approved for brand registry, get brand registered within the catalog. You can combat and fight, um, um, pirates or people who are trying to hijack your listing. You can get access to A plus content or enhanced brand content. And honestly, like a trademark takes six months to a year, sometimes even longer. Now they have this thing in beta, which is the partner Amazon partner program. You can go through an Amazon preferred partner lawyer or um, institution. And if you go through them um, and they show that you're pending and in the process and paid and current up to date, they'll approve you in like less than three weeks. So that's something that we're testing out right now and something that our clients are looking into because it's worth the extra money um, to get brand registered and get your trademark approved because you don't have to worry about um, hijackers. You don't have to worry about um, people, you know, selling counterfeits of your product You and you get access to a plus content, which is extra pictures and tapping into video ads and video placement on your, um, on your listing, which is going to increase conversions, help with rank, help with SEO. It's just, it's a win-win, really smart thing to do. Um, cool. Then a map agreement means they can't sell it less for any reason. Yeah. I mean, it just depends. Like some wholesale companies or like distributors or manufacturers will let you go up to this number or below this number. It just depends like large volume, high volume SKUs. Sometimes they follow a map agreement. Um, some of them sell it to you at below MSRP, you do whatever you want. So, um, like I said, I really don't teach wholesale or practice wholesale. Like when we're developing products and building brands, we're getting it significantly below MSRP or what other people are selling it for. We're developing it, improving it, putting our logo on it and selling it at what we feel that the marketplace will allow for the quality, the value that we offer, and we make the difference. So our profit margin that we're aiming for with private labels, 20 to 30%, obviously the higher, the better. I've seen some less. I've seen some as high as 50 and 60%. So it just depends on the niche, the category, the development, the product, the quantity you buy. There's tons of variables that go into effect. How would this affect since the war is going on in China to the United States? Uh, yeah, there's no issues, man. Amazon's still cranking. People are still ordering. It doesn't matter. Recession, depression, pandemic, World War III. I mean, this stuff is still cranking. Um, you got to understand, it's not just an Amazon business. It's supply and demand. And it's not just Chinese sellers selling to you. It's every store in America, you know, over 51% of the globe shops on Amazon and over 86% of all products bought in the U S is manufactured overseas. So like the world can't just stop. People need things like medical equipment is made in China. It's not all made in the U S like necessity items and essential items are all made a high majority of them made overseas. A lot of the stuff that are made in hospitals are made overseas. So it's like, regardless of what happens, what time we're in, how difficult it is, the supply channel is always going to be open. Things may fluctuate and there may be volatility that affects pricing or 
you know, transit times. However, these large companies are going to find a way and they're going to have to find a way because there's essential and important items that are necessary. So I wouldn't affect it. I mean, I wouldn't worry about it. Prices get increased. You know, you just have to roll with the punches. There's always going to be, um, you know, adversity or some type of thing that you got to deal with in business. It's just business. What's the probability in 100% that if I do everything required, I'll be successful in this business? I mean, it's a one, 100%. There's no, so here's the thing, like I've been doing this for a very long time and I've been very successful myself doing it. There, like, there's no way that's like saying, what is the chance if I go to the gym seven days a week and I eat healthy and I don't deviate from my, my schedule and I don't deviate from my nutrition, what is the chance that I'll live a healthier life? Or what is the chance that I'll, show improvement or increase strength. It's 100%. There's no 46% or 80% or three in 10 fail. It's a 100% guaranteed thing. The reason why it's ludicrous to make any guarantees and I can't give you a percentage or anything like that is because I can't control you or your actions or how serious you are or your investment or your work ethic, right? This works. This business is not an Amazon business. It's not an e-commerce business. It's supply and demand. Amazon is the largest online e-commerce retailer in the world, which accounts for more than 50% of all online purchases. That's a fact. You can Google that. Um, people need things. They have problems. They need solutions to. They need things. They order them online. They want them quick. That's the business. It's supply and demand. Saturation happens with supply and demand when there is more supply than there is demand. Well, there's... 2 million sellers and 200 million buyers. So there is significantly more demand than there is supply. So it's a viable opportunity. The opportunity exists, a very good opportunity. And the business will work if you work, if you don't give up. I talk about the three pillars of success, which is patience, persistence, resilience. And matter of fact, a little spoiler alert, actually, because we're on this topic. For everybody who's in the AMZ formula max or my inner circle, I just got done today in my studio right here filming Mindset Mastery, which is my new mindset course. It's not for sale. You can't buy it. The only way you can get it is by being in TAF Max or in my inner circle. And I'm giving it to you for free because the mindset, the foundation of your mindset is what will make you successful. Not the product that you find or the business or how knowledgeable you are, or how smart you are. Because there's millions of products and all products on Amazon sell. When people think about failing on Amazon, they think about finding a product that won't sell. So I can cut that internal disbelief by telling you all products on Amazon sell. If products on Amazon that you launch do not sell, it's for one of two reasons. Number one, you lacked the competence to do the due diligence to identify how many units the product will sell. How can I make them sell that units? that many units and what do I need to do to sell that many units? Or the other aspect of it is you just don't generally understand how to sell the units. You could find the best product. You could be the best product researcher in the world, find the best product that's going to sell crazy amount of numbers. You just pop it on the internet and you don't know how to do PPC. You don't know how to do a launch. You don't know how to get your initial reviews. You don't know what SEO is. These things that exist that you need to know within Amazon you're not gonna get any sales. So I often tell people in my consulting, who I consult and my clients and people I teach and in my mentorship, oftentimes if a product isn't selling, it's not a product problem, it's a person problem. So before we say, dude, you failed, go back to the drawing board, launch another product, we literally break everything down. Dude, what does your title look like? What does your reviews look like? What is your pricing structure? How did you come up with your pricing? Let me see your pictures. What are your pictures? What's the psychology behind your pictures? Who wrote your copy? Where's your keywords? Do you know what keywords you're ranking for? How did you do your PPC? How did you set up your PPC? What is the strategy behind the PPC? Where's your list of influencers? Do you have social medias? Do you know what your competition's doing? There's so many variables and so many questions as to like why people fail in this business. The main reason people fail in this business is because they lack the competence. Because if you lack competence, you lack confidence. And if you lack both of them, it's a mission, like it's a, it's literally a recipe for failure. Because if you lack competence and you try to do something being cheap because you don't want to pay for education or someone to help you, or you try to do it yourself, you're going to lock that competence. When you get started, things will get difficult. You will make a mistake. You will lose money. 
And then once you don't have the competence and you know you lack the competence, you start making mistakes and losing money and you lose the confidence, you give up. And that's why people go from this, like, oh, e-commerce is a scam. This doesn't work. They go back to spending, like wasting time on social media, find another ad and buy something random that caught their mind that's promising them the world. And then they do this over and over and over again and become nothing in life because of that whole system right there. So this business is 100% legit. It works 100%. What I teach is everything that I did to generate eight figures in this business. We have hundreds of clients who have crushed it. We have clients who have generated over a million dollars in this in their business. So it all starts with the mindset, right? All products sell. You just got to know how to identify it, what product is the best product and how to launch the product. Um, for us, a failed product, and I hate that word so much because people just, like, I just hate that word. A product that is not viable is what I like better, is a product that we launch that we have anticipations of it selling X amount per day, X amount per month, X amount per year, it not performing at that standard. That's a product that's not viable for us. So at that point, there's a fork in the road, right? Do we sustain that? Like, is it enough sales and enough profit where we're like, cool, we'll scale this, we'll sustain this and just go launch more SKUs? Or is it not enough meat on the bone where we'll just sell out at 30% profit, go back to the drawing board and launch another product until we find that winner that's going to make us what we want to make? That's the true question. Um, so yeah, that was an elongated answer, but hopefully that helps a lot of you guys. How much did you have for a marketing budget? So um, typically for the Amazon business in USD currency, um, what we recommend is three to $5,000 USD. Now we've seen less, we've seen more. There's so many variables again. And I know like people hate the variable word, but it's like, dude, you can source a product that costs three cents or 30 cents or $3 or $30 or $300, right? Like I can source this desk for $40 or I can source this for a dollar forty. So I don't know the product that you're going to find. I don't know what your goals are. So inside of my program, like when you guys are in the AMZ formula or you're in any of our programs, before we even teach you product research, we have something called a freedom formula. And we ask you a series of questions. Like if you become a client at AMZ together where we help build everything for you and with you, or you become a client in my consulting, or you just take the AMZ formula program yourself. We start with that foundation. So first is mindset and laying that foundation. And then is understanding the business before we start product research. And that's the third component. So in the second component, which is understanding the business, if you don't understand number one, your risk tolerance, number two, your budget, number three, your goal financially, how can you do product research successfully? I cannot tell you how many people start product research and this is their goal. Bro, I'm trying to find a product that's going to make me the most amount of money. What's your maximum investment? What is your risk tolerance? What is your projection? What is your goal for financial proceeds? These are traditional investment questions. If you go to any type of brokerage or investment firm, they're going to ask you, yo, how much do you have that you want to invest? Like, what is your risk tolerance? Like what, like from a level of one to 10 and what do you want to make? What are you looking to make? Somebody would rather get started quickly and make $1,500 a month with low risk than somebody else who's like, dude, I'll wait one year to find a product that can make me $25,000 a month. And I have a big risk tolerance, which means I'm going big or I'm going home. I'm willing to lose it all trying to make that win. So risk tolerance is a huge one. And then your budget is another one because people ask, well, how much does it cost to start? And when I tell them on average, we see launches cost three to $5,000. They're like, well, I'd like to make more than three to $5,000 per, per month. And what if I had more than three to 5,000? Okay, cool. Well, if you have $150,000, we may be able to find a product that can make you 20,000 or $30,000 per month, hypothetically speaking. Right? So it's like, I hate talking about how much you need to start because it's like when people know that if you came up with more money, you can make more money, they find more money. So it's like, Instead of asking me, you really need to ask yourself, how much money can you get access to? And this is what I tell people transparently. Again, guys, on the channel and in my trainings and on anything that I put out, I'm going to tell you the brutal truth and I'm going to be 100% transparent because 
I don't need to sell you any programs and I could care less if you buy any of my stuff. Our number one goal is to help you guys, right? So the whole thing is like, is this business even realistic for you? Like if you're trying to find a way to make your first thousand dollars online and you have no credit, you have absolutely no money, this is not a business for you. I would say become an affiliate marketer, find someone who has something, grow an audience for free and sell them stuff, sell people stuff for free and make commissions till you make your first thousand dollars. I'm not going to tell someone who's 18 broke with no credit, save $3,000 and start an Amazon business because it doesn't make sense. However, if you want to start a real business that you could one day exit for three to 10 times the profit or a business that could generate you one to $500 every single day, 365 days per year, and you have credit, you have some type of investment that you can tap into, you have money saved, you have a significant other, you have a partner or something like that, then it makes sense. Um, so you got you to think about that type of stuff. But traditionally, what we've seen um, with all the launches that we've seen, hundreds of launches, is three to five thousand dollars for inventory. When it comes to launching your product or advertising budget, typically we're starting with one to three hundred dollars. You don't need thousands of dollars to test keywords. We're spending like twenty to thirty dollars a day, sometimes fifty dollars a day, and we're optimizing as we go. Right. So. I would say like three to five thousand dollars is very, very good to test. And this is the micro launch for your product. And if you look at it like this in a list, your product is gonna cost the most, and then your shipping, or depending on how many units you order, your shipping may actually be the most, and then your product. So those two can kind of rotate. And then you have your um, budget, and then you have your Amazon account. The Amazon account's $39.99 a month, right? PPC or advertising budgets one to five hundred dollars max. Your product could be fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollars. The shipping could be fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollars. It just depends on the size of the product, the quantity of the product, the micro launch, the test, where you're sourcing it from, what time of the year. If you source in November, it's going to cost significantly more than May. You know what I mean? Because of the time difference and the commodity like crude oil being more towards fourth quarter because more people are using it and there's less supply. So there's tons of variables and you just have to be educated and understand the industry and how it works. Um, meant to say, how long does it take to find a legit manufacturer? Thanks. So um, manufacturers are readily available and accessible on Alibaba. So um, inside of our programs, we actually give you a manufacturer template and depending if you're in like max or higher, you get access to our sourcing agent and our, we have offices in China where we help our clients find products regardless if you're, depending on what program you're in. So if you're doing it yourself, um, typically like depending on how much time you have, I would say like four to eight hours to find a good supplier. Because if you just go to Alibaba and you type in Lent Roller, you may see 300 people. So you got to reach out to these 300 people. You got to go through emails. You have to, you know, get um, answers back, get quotes, get pictures, maybe get samples. So four to eight hours is typically on average the amount of time. Sometimes you can get lucky. It can be less. But I see a big mistake is people just settling for someone who smiles and gives them a decent price. And that's just not enough if you're serious and want to take this to the next level. Uh, thanks for getting someone to reach out. Hope, hope an EYL member can be. All right, cool. Yeah, sounds good, man. Um, so basically, it like you should be good to go. It depends the country that you live in. Like, I don't know where you live, but it's probably going to be better and easier for you to get um, a business account set up in the U.S. and a U.S. banking account. So. If you need help with that stuff and setting up a U.S. account, if you're international, email support at the amzformula.com and your subject should be LLC and bank account out the U.S. And then our team can plug you with a partner of ours, we'll get on a call, see where you live, what you're trying to do, and they can actually help you get the business account set up in the U.S., a physical address in the U.S., get on a Zoom call, walk through setting everything up with Amazon, integrating everything and get all that stuff set up. It's something we do for our clients and 
people who are in our community. Roughly how much capital would I need to get started? Three to 5,000 USD is what I recommend. Um, that excludes any type of education or consulting. But if you do it yourself with none of that, just for the business, product, shipping, inventory, Amazon account, and any contractors you may use on Fiverr or Upwork, three to 5,000. Cool. Awesome. Um, any, if there's any good ones on IG or anything, we'll take one or two more and then we'll wrap it up. A lot of good questions today, guys. And also, by the way, guys, for all of you guys who are new to the business and you have a ton of like regular questions, um, all the frequently asked questions as well as like my backstory, my journey from 725 an hour to making my first eight figures with this business, how to do product research, how to find that winning product, what that winning product looks like, how to scale the business mindset. Literally anything you can think of is in my brand new book, One Product Away, and it's $27. It's not your traditional ebook that's 15 pages of fluff with big pictures. It's 200 plus pages of step-by-step -step strategies, tactics, stories, and fundamentals for this business, right? The business that changed my life. So if you guys haven't gotten your copy, go to www.oneproductawaybook.com right now. And this is what I'm gonna do, something special. For those of you guys who go grab a copy right now that don't have a copy, or for those of you who grabbed a copy um, already in the past, DM me on Instagram, at official Joshua Crisp, a picture of your receipt or a picture of you reading the book. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my team pick three people and I'm going to give you access to um, my mindset mastery course for free. That's a, if I was to sell it a $2,000 course, but I will never sell it to the public. That's only accessible to those of you who are in the AMZ formula max or my inner circle. Also, I see a ton of people that are in the AMZ formula. This is not publicly announced yet. Um, what we do is right now we are remastering the AMZ formula is being remastered, re-edit, reproduced all new videos plus new content. And I have several things being added to it. So with the AMZ formula max, the difference between the AMZ formula course and the AMZ formula max mastermind is you get the AMZ formula plus the remastered re-edited version plus weekly calls with coaches, different coaches, our PPC coach, our general questions coach that goes over all the general frequently asked questions, as well as our advanced coach, which is Joey, one of our top successful clients. It's in over a million dollars in his business. You get weekly calls just like this within our community, but it gets better. I literally just filmed um, Mindset Mastery, which would be a $2,000 course. I'm never going to sell it. You're getting that absolutely free. And I have another course I never released, never sold publicly. It's called the IG Formula. It's, I think, 60 videos. Instagram has been our most profitable channel for e-commerce. And in general, I grew my page 300,000 followers, got verified, and generated multiple millions of dollars from Instagram alone. So all of that is being blended and bundled into the AMZ Formula Max and Inner Circle. So if you're in the AMZ Formula or you're thinking about joining one of our programs, we want 10 people to kind of beta test all this new stuff that we're adding and I, I didn't even talk about the children's course and the sign language and all this other stuff. There's also a children's course for ages 8 to 13 that's being added to that as well. But we're looking for 10 people to beta test this new structure, all these new courses and the coaching and give us feedback, like give us like how we can improve it. How could we make it better? How could we serve clients at a higher level? And for that, we're discounting it $1,500. So TAF or the AMZ Formula Max is normally only an investment of $49.97. We're discounting it to $3,500 for 10 people because we want people to work with us and give us constructive criticism so we can make it the best as humanly possible. My goal is for that to be the number one Amazon program, most detail-oriented, most valuable in the world. So that's a goal to me. Um, so those of you who want that, we'll drop the link down below. And if you're in the AMZ Formula already, we will actually credit your investment in the AMZ formula towards this discount. So you'll get not only $1,500, but you'll also get your $1,000 previous investment credited. So what is that? $2,500? Is that right? So $2,500. So you're literally getting a $5,000 uh, mentorship and coaching program half off. So if you're in the AMZ formula for that link, it's special. 
make sure you DM me right now, this second, um, on Instagram, at official Joshua Chris, and say, hey, I'm in the AMZ formula. I need to upgrade. I need one of those 10 spots, and we'll send you a special link. If you're not in the AMZ formula, not a part of the family, and you want to get your feet wet, you want to get started, you want to join a community, you want to work one-on-one with our coaches, with me, and get access to all of the bonus programs like Mindset Mastery, the children's curriculum, if you have a child or a grandchild you want to do this business with, as well as the updated versions, um, then um, the link down below will be for the $1,500 off. Again, this is 10 spots. It's not false scarcity. I do not believe in discounts because when people discount their programs, they discount the value. And when people pay, they pay attention. The larger the transaction we've learned, the larger the transformation when I go to $55,000 masterminds, I don't miss a day. I take copious notes and I execute relentlessly. When I buy $400 courses, they sit on the shelves. When I buy stuff on Udemy, I don't watch them. So that's why we do that. Um, the title of the book is um, One Product Away. So you can get your copy at www.oneproductawaybook.com. That's the number one. Again, everybody who has a copy already or buys a copy right now, DM me on Instagram at official Joshua Crisp a picture. I'm giving three people my new mindset mastery course. It's over an hour long. It'll never be for sale publicly. And of course, everybody who's in Max already, you get all of this stuff for free. I'll never charge you another dime ever. Um, all of you guys who are in the AMZ formula, you want to upgrade, be one of 10 beta spot testers. Not only will you get the $1,500 off, I'll credit your investment in the AMZ formula and we'll upgrade you, and you'll basically have it at 50% off, which will, you'll never see max at 50% off, maybe once a year, if, if that. Cool, yeah, drop a question. Was there any questions from Instagram? And also drop the link, that special link for max, because I know that's a special link. Do you use a professional copywriter for your products and services? Do you have recommendations of a copyright software? So there's tons of copywriter softwares out there. Some of them are AI generated um, and they do okay, but there's nothing like the real thing. So for our clients, we write copy for them. Um, in our program, we kind of tell you what to do and how to do it. But if you're doing this yourself and you wanted to hire out, I would probably go to Upwork or Fiverr. Those are both websites. And I would look for an e-commerce uh, copywriter that specializes in conversion. So a good one's probably going to charge you like mm, $250 to $500 for the listing for a really, really good one. You may be able to get one a little bit cheaper than that. And then again, our clients, depending on the level of the program you're in, we do that for you. And then in our lower tier programs, we tell you exactly what to do, how to do it, and give you examples that you can pretty much copy and then just adjust the wording. Awesome. Everybody who said that they want to be one of the testers, they want to be one of the 10 people, go to Instagram right now, DM me at official Joshua Crisp, say you want one of the 10 spots um, if you're in the AMZ formula so we can give you the special link. But for anybody who's not in any of the programs that wants to join and wants $1,500 off what is literally zero jokes, the best Amazon program that's out right now for private label, I mean, literally, we're now in two, almost three languages. We have everything completely transcribed so you can read it we also just got everything redone in sign language but on top of that we redid my entire curriculum and had somebody a cartoonist do it with music and graphics and everything for children if you want to do this business with a child or teach your children e-commerce and brand and business development and entrepreneurship on top of that i'm also adding the mindset mastery program so it's no longer just an amazon course with some calls it's uh, the number one most intense, most detail-oriented, looking over my shoulder in my computer program that exists that is updated, by the way, every year. For the last three years consecutively, every single year, I have redone my program. You're not going to go buy another Amazon program that has been updated in the last 12 months. I know everybody in the industry, and I don't care what they think. Their stuff is outdated. They're not doing it. Um, they're just not doing it. Um, so the main difference is every single year I update everything. So last year it was done at what I thought was a good quality in my home. Now I have a studio that I invested six figures in. I have a full-time videographer. We have 4k top of the line equipment, Like you go on, go on YouTube. I, I like would really enjoy if you went on YouTube, checked out other Amazon people and found someone that has this level of production. It's non-existent. 
That's because I want the best for you guys. Um, something my mentor says is you cannot teach what you do not know and you cannot lead where you will not go. I want the best for you guys because I want the best for myself. And the things that I teach you guys is not some stuff that you know I'm doing to sell programs. I became a millionaire with this business. I made eight figures with this business before I had a, before I had a YouTube account or an Instagram account. This is something I care about, something I'm passionate about. So I want you guys to win. As always, remember, you're one product away. Again, to recap, everybody who grabs their copy of the One Product Away book today or already grabbed the product, DM me on Instagram at official Joshua Crisp, a picture of your receipt or the book. Let me know your thoughts about it. Three lucky people are going to win my brand new Mindset Mastery course when it's dropped. Um, and everybody who wants to take action on the AMZ Formula Max at $1,500 off, be one of the 10 beta testers to work with us while we develop and build things out for the launch. Um, that link is down below right now. Go ahead and post that link so that they can join that link, um, Eros. And then if you're in the AMZ Formula and you want the additional $1,000 off, then all you got to do is DM me at official Joshua Crisp on Instagram and I'll get you that special link. As always, guys, be blessed. Um, you're only one product away. The information is on the channel. The information is in the program. Put the work in and it'll work out. I'll see you guys next time.